what do you think? Do you think that uh, these loot crate things, and maybe you can well, talk about them a little more detail. From, from what I understand, uh, this whole EA hubbubaloo started when they announced that you were not going to be able to play as Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader or anything from the very beginning of the game in Battlefront 2 because they would be unlockable characters. And they further went on to say that we wanted to balance the game, and they did this on Reddit, saying yeah. that they wanted people to enjoy the, the, the thrill of of victory, of uh, accomplishment, and all this kind of stuff by unlocking the characters on your own, and it absolutely was not a pay-to-win situation, but people did the calculation, and it turns out, unless you paid five bucks per character to unlock it immediately, and did that for every character, the equivalent in-game time on, a, on an average of two hours per day would take you about six years to unlock everything, because they put cooldown timers on how many points you could earn in certain modes after certain periods of time. Uh, it would literally say, you have earned the maximum number of points, please come back in three hours to begin pay, uh, playing again. I see. And people are generally open to this kind of thing when you're dealing with like a mobile free-to-play game. Because yeah. you don't pay an upfront amount to get the content. But when you're already charging someone 60 bucks for a game, and then you introduce elements that are pay to win, that's the straw that breaks the camel's back for a lot of people. Gotcha. And the right, outroar was over. so huge that EA actually fell back and removed it from the game, but reserved their right to re-add it back. So basically what they're trying to do is trying to save face up until the release of the game, because they knew a lot of pre-orders were being canceled. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's, it's terrible. So are all microtransactions wrong i am not a fan of microtransactions but i understand why developers do them because there's a small population of people in the grand scheme of people who play games who will buy microtransaction items right and they'll do it in large quantities so they're not affecting a huge group of people but they're affecting a small group of people in a, in a large way okay and i generally hate pay to win especially in like online cooperative games because you know it incur it's literally gambling because there's one thing to pay for an item and say, I want this item, I'm going to pay you $2.99 for this item. It's a whole other thing to say, here's a box that has a chance at dropping a certain item. You're going to open it and pay money for it. What do I get? What do I get? Exactly. You don't know what you're going to get. Right. So there is a little bit of anticipation of that. There is a little bit of excitement. But if you're trying to get one thing in particular, you could either pay $5 for it and get it, or you could pay $100 for it and not get it. Yeah. It's gambling. So, Yeah. And there's the issue that people have is that this game is for kids, and you shouldn't have kids doing gambling stuff. And because there is a part of human psychology that is at risk of being going overboard with gambling, mm -hmm. whether it's gambling in a video game or gambling. And the article I read had some sort of thing about the conditions for gambling. I don't really remember, but for instance, so in this one here, for people that are watching this wondering what the fuck's going on, these are these white ones means these are super. Uh, Vanilla. They, they're not special at all. Like, Blue is a little bit less And the second one's common. from Rampage, right? What? This one here? Yeah, that is. Yep. <laughs> that is I forget this guy's name. I, I haven't played this game in quite a while. I did play it a fair... Okay, so this just changes like a thing you get to say. I don't know. This one, she'll say something here. You can put that head on the man? Yeah. Sweet. It's not working. I don't know what's going on here. So this skin, that just changes the guy. Okay, so it's like Clint Eastwood with Robo Arm. Yeah, but you get to be blue instead of whatever is other normally called orange. Uh, so you're basically building out all these little bonuses and skins and colors and things like that. So, but I have all these loot boxes, so we're just going to open up these. Then we're going to play a couple maps. Um, oh, Dominic makes a good point. He said, right. by doing microtransactions, you're ruining other people's experience, too. You're buying an advantage. Absolutely. Yeah, it's paying. Yeah, those who have more money get more of an advantage. Yeah, it, it's wrong. total bullcrap. It's, so, it's a great way to erode the confidence and trust between players and a parent company. And Dorm J says, everything Star Wars is commercial money grabbing, isn't it? That's oh, absolutely true. Always has been. There, it's, it's gross. It's like everything, too. The, and the licensing. thing that bothers me is like the single-player campaign, the footage that right, I have seen, looks decent. But I just... Oh, oh we got purple. a purple purple so this is what it's an emo okay so this will be a a move so nice. he has a heart a heart attack <laughs> yeah. he grips his chest in pain <laughs> uh, oh god get, delete my porn um another blue so some of these are more rare i mean it's all kind of arbitrary set okay. by some sort of algorithm i'm sure meaning you know it's not one guy making up all the decisions but um, I think I have 21 loot boxes. Now, is know. there anything higher than, say, a purple? I think there's orange. Ooh. I, I, I usually play as Genji. I like Genji a lot. Um, but I'll, I'll switch to a couple of the other ones, too. Oh, got a bird up there. Is that a rooster? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the rooster Let's skin. that one. It's kind of fun. Yeah, he's usually got a bird on him. That's kind of cute. Uh, yeah, so these aren't, you know, whatever. These are all kind of blah. Let's do another one here. 
Well, so like there's a lot of apps. I know like the Kardashians. Maybe I'm going back a couple years because mm-hmm. my my references are always dated and old. Um, but uh, the uh, Kardashians thing was all, all microtransactions. There's a mm-hmm. lot of those games like Candy Crush. I think was a lot of microtransactions. Yeah, but like, it's that whole platform where it's free to play. Yeah. So you don't pay up front. So it makes it almost feel as though, well, I haven't invested anything monetarily in this, so what's the harm in doing one little microtransaction here or there? And eventually it becomes an obsession for some people, and they just go crazy. Right, right. And you can see, like, if you're a gazillionaire, you just get in there, you want the thing, you want the shortcut, it's easy for you to just pay for it. But you could also kind of lose your mind on it, too. Not that the company necessarily has to be held accountable for for people overdoing it. It's not, you know, completely their their thing. Um, So here... Oh, that's a, that's a good question there. We almost did that. Read, read, read the question. Uh, did you guys ever think about doing a series on American Ooh. Gods like you did on Twin Peaks? It's probably a good pick for speculation and theories, and there's a book, too. Yeah. We we did one episode of American Gods, and I think we started, I don't know, I made an animation of me. <laughs> did that ever go up, though? Yeah, look for Bilkus Animation, or Bilkus, B-I-L-Q-U-S. Now, is there going to be a, a second season of that? Maybe we could pick it up from season two? Uh, I think so. I would be. I would love to do it. It looked like a great, a great. Yeah, show. I, I was digging it. We were just there was a bunch of stuff going on at the time, and we didn't have the resources to do it. Yeah, I forget. But I think we were doing. Um, wow, that's kind of crazy. Face the it. James Delaney one. Uh, Taboo. Taboo. We were doing that at the time, and I think Game of Thrones was possibly on. Yeah, we were finishing two, and it was just uh, Walking Dead. We were trying Walk- to do. It yeah, at the same time. and then was, we felt the wagon of Walking Dead because it just got. I mean, we could pick up Walking Dead again yeah. if anyone cared, but it's just. It's I, I kind of want to do more yeah, Walking yeah, Dead just because there's so much to kind to talk about is so i don't know if yellow is the most rare i wish i knew um what's this robot doing to this woman oh this is just a oh that's a skin so it doesn't matter uh it takes her she skin? she lives in it she's the character that like drivers uh, it's, it's a mech mm-hmm. so she's actually a super annoying character she's a she's a heavy artillery or whatever or a, what do they call it the the big ones that take a lot of damage mm-hmm. and uh uh, she can jump out of it and then run around too. It's just really annoying. But if she jumps out of it, can people destroy it? Yeah, but she sends it like a bomb and then it blows up. But oh, she's, okay. And then she's free of it. So you have to kill. It. Basically, there's two phases to that character. So she's really hard. Yeah. Um, but they're always tuning this game. They're always making nerfing and buffing. Is that the words? All right. So what do we get here? Yeah. See, so you know. You know oh, I'm so addicted. <laughs> yeah. One, one show aside from a tank. Yeah. A tank. Yeah. Thank you, Dominic. That's so one thing I've been getting addicted to lately. I'm way behind the curve on this because it's, it's old and it just got put up on Netflix. Saved but by the Bell. Yeah, there's that, but it's uh, American Horror Story season six. I kind of fell off the, the wagon to say that phrase again when they did Hotel. I was not a big fan of American Horror Series Hotel. Yeah. Or American Horror Story Hotel. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> she's celebrating. Six is pretty good. American Horror Story would have been good for us to do too. We, yeah. The problem is they're 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 really intense. Like to to all the work it takes to get those up. I should probably not do the animation. That would help a lot because that's usually the, the hard part. But I really want to build the channel around that animation. And yet, yet at the same time, like, well, well, people are asking for this, so why not just do it? I don't think people come for the stupid animation. Um, I think I have more than these two. I think this is like a. They're not always these like box of fireworks thing. Whoa! What is that? Oh, duplicate. So I can trade it in for points or okay, something. Okay, that's right, cool. That's kind of cool. Whoa. That's a little creepy. Yeah. I haven't played this in quite a while here. So we're going to do more. I hope this is interesting. Westworld is big. Yeah, whenever oh, that yeah. comes out, we're definitely... Absolutely. Like, we're not going to miss Westworld. We're not going to miss Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, we should we should probably start up on another one. Maybe we should do a couple episodes of yeah. Black Mirror. Cause, cause After so this next season of Game of Thrones, I don't think we're going to do it anymore, though. Of what? Game you, of Thrones. You're quitting? Yeah, we're oh not going to do any more Game of Thrones after next season. All right, so these are the regular loot boxes. I've got it's nine ending. Of them. I, I know. I already. I figured that part out. I was just going with it. My improv training kicked in, James. Yes. I took. I took eight weeks of improv in 2009. Okay. Oh, uh, Kirill. I don't want to say the name wrong. Wait, you do you animate by hand? I thought it was procedural. Well, no, I don't animate by hand, but I, I use uh, Adobe Character Animator, and it uh, it's not procedural. It does a lot of the work for you with like the mouth shapes. They're called bizemes. It does automatic. There's a way of doing that automatically or live. Uh, it, and it uses a webcam, but in order to make the the body move, the head, the body and the head move around, you have to take do a take. Then you have to do a take for each arm, and you can do a couple of them at the same time. But you basically record it multiple times per uh, relevant body part or relevant animation characteristic, if that makes any sense. Oh. For instance, like the eyes, uh, you, you can have the the webcam read your eyes while you're recording, 
but that's way less accurate. So I use the mouse version of that, which requires a whole fresh take. So if it's two minutes long, two characters, each character requires eight to 10 takes roughly. And also there's corrections and fixes and I gotta go in there and split the audio dialogue. It's really intense. I mean, not inten intensive, I guess is more the right word than intense. It's not like it's intense. <laughs> um, so say if we do a two minute animation, each one requires eight or so takes. That's 16 minutes per character, two characters, 32 minutes. That's just in pure playtime, let alone setup, clicking on things, rigging the puppets, all kinds of stuff. There's ways of simplifying it. In fact, if you watch the, um, uh, let's watch this one. These are the only ones I really care to see. Oh, she, uh, she, she's in minor, Minority Report, kind of, right? <laughs> With her arms. Um, if you watch the Ladybird review, <laughs> I'm sure people were super thrilled about that. Uh, the reason I did the heads in the jars so I didn't have to animate any bodies and stuff. I could just like move my body around for the floating, and then so it takes a take to do the eyes, the head, and uh, you know you got to fix little mistakes too. Because also when there's two characters, you have to like I like it when James's character looks away when I say something inappropriate or when the eyeball when the eyes go up or it, it's actually really cool. Uh, Jesus man props. All right, Kirill. Keep your real No, I'm just joking. Thank you. Oh, Thank Aaron you. had a good question. Uh, would you ever oh. appear on camera for recaps and stuff to save on the animation? That is a great question. What do you think about that, James? Are you? I'm more... much more animated as cartoon. James is very. <laughs> James is very much. Honestly, the being on camera is probably uh, one of the best things we could do for the channel. People love that. They're we're missing that. Um, I think at some point we might well, we might give yeah, that a try. Maybe. Um, I, I feel a little, it adds to the production and it adds to, I don't know, I just feel like a like a big dork. I don't know if that's mm -hmm. a, if that makes any sense. I don't we are opening loot crates and Overwatch <laughs> in a live stream, so I think there's probably already passed that threshold. Yeah, I know. But like, why am I, me personally, I'm not speaking for you, but like, why does that, why does that affect me in any way? I mean, I'm a, all I want is attention. I'm doing, I do fucking stand up comedy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not afraid to be in front of people or anything, but for some reason, like standing there, um, putting the video i don't know it's so weird but it, but people love that and it's actually really mm -hmm. good so i think there might be a day where that that's we we, we include that in, in the channel also it does save on animation like you say because um we wouldn't have to do the animation or maybe i, I, I would require you to animate me throwing fireballs constantly when i was doing it. that'd be all right that'd so. be okay I, I you know we could come up with like, like a nice little background some kind of thing and yeah. It wouldn't be hard. It's just a matter of plugging in a camera and, and getting the feed through a USB into the computer. And, I would want a giant you know. green screen behind us and to project an image of your real room on. Yeah, <laughs> that would work. All right, so th this is probably super boring. We're not people watching Overwatch. Guy. You only have two left, right? Yeah, yeah, we're almost done. But then I'm going to play uh, some, some, some levels. So, yeah, no, I think about the going on camera a lot. I feel like that would be... Um, the thing is, James, we've... We've put so much work into this channel. We've kind of committed, not that it's all or nothing or make or break mm -hmm. or whatever, but, uh, you know, we've done enough to be like, yeah, this is our thing. We got, we, I'm not, I'm proud of our subscriber base. I'm, I think we're building a cool little community. Uh, people that's, that come in on us or come in on us that we get to know on here are always, always seem kind of fun. Uh, so I'm out. All right. So now we're done real quick. We'll go shopping. So look, here's a, here's a, you can buy stuff. So if I just drop. 40 bucks i could do 50 loot boxes but like well, it, there's no tactical benefit to this by the way now that is that the thing in battlefront or do you get actual tactical advantages that, this is all that i'm not sure about i would imagine that you would though because you're unlocking different characters with different abilities and i would presume that darth vader is more powerful than say a regular vanilla stormtrooper yeah i don't know the specifics though yes yeah <laughs> oh. oh look there they really want the camera you see like people really love the camera man yeah I'm trying to lose weight too. I'm embarrassed by how I look right now. Not that I'm some horrible beast, but like I, I, I have body image issues, and I, you know, I look at my fat face, and I, you know, uh, I start to hate myself. <laughs> and people go, "You're not as ugly as you say." I know, I know. It's weird. I'm fucked up. Okay. Oh, this one's good. All right. I, I like to be Genji. So be prepared, everybody. You're gonna see some real pro play in here. Although I'm, I do have kind of higher rank than some of these low level peeps. But it's been a while. Uh, the whole trick to Overwatch is 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 uh, synergistically cooperating with the different skills of your team. So the really good players know that like, oh, they've got this one here and that one. So I shouldn't. I should be this one or that one. So like, there's a balance with defensive, okay, so, offensive characters. So two people like can't that. be the same guy. No, two people cannot be the same guy. I'm Genji. White's probably the right color. 
that's pretty racist. <laughs> well, it's a white map. All the walls are white and stuff. Genji's cool. This is his powers here. He's got the dragon blade, uh, where he really uh, opens up a sword, and it's really more of a can of whoop-ass. Dorm likes the animations. Thanks, Dorm J. 6.7 thousand people, Dominic says. Yeah, that's pretty good. We, you know, we want to see more. I actually thought we'd have a lot more by like two years in. It's We're like four years in. <laughs> Aaron wants to see James's face when I say uh, on them. <laughs> yeah, you should see James's face and posture. This is what I love about James. James, let me, let me make you uncomfortable uh -huh. here. James cannot lie. He is so pure and honest, James. You're like the Virgin Mary. Oh, great. Uh, <laughs> Am I going to have a Jesus? <laughs> yeah. So I can deflect blows. Got him! So I contributed 48 to that kill. Oh, I should mention that I'm uh, Charlie, doing okay here. Now, Charlie now says, Genji can climb. Today I bought 20 pinecone decorations for my Christmas what? tree. What? Who's got pinecone decorations? <laughs> Charlie. Dude, Charlie, I'm coming over. I need to see those pinecones. No, we're taking the objective. Oh, shit! Can you go? Oh, no, see, he's got, a, he's got a double jump. Uh... Genji's extremely good when you learn how to play him. It took me a while to get decent decent enough not to die all the time. So he can climb up stuff. So you knew that guy standing right next to you was not an adversary. Yeah, because of his color or something. Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah, no. But see, Gen Genji appears from above, attacks. Oh, someone got me. But Genji can escape like nobody else. You can't climb when you're stunned? I don't know. Something's going on here. I do need to get some medicine. Oh, fuck. That was a waste. Dude. So he's got this, this zoom thing. I didn't mean to... I was trying to go down. Okay. That trolled in this diamond tap? Yes. It's a... It's a, it's a oh, this person's to your left. What? Right there. Oh. It's... Hey, he's dead. You can't I, haven't died, I haven't died yet. I'm doing all right. Yeah, I, I'm still rusty. I've been playing about nine months here, so. Oh shit! Ball is something. Oh god, he's got a giant hammer. Yeah, that's uh. Reinhardt. Uh, Reinhardt, thank you. I'm totally uh. Contesting point. I'm dead here. Holy crap! Um, my my health is super low though. Okay, yeah, here's my uh, power. Pretty well. Yeah, I did all right. Oh, there's a health. That's those. There's bigger ones. Oh, I see. She so was frozen. Like, oh yeah. shoot! So there's all kinds of ways that you work together with that. I mean, that's why like teams are like work, you know. What the heck was that? That's my power. Did it kill anyone? It did that time. Got oh, you're, okay, you were still using the power. At yeah, the time? yeah. It lasts like six or seven seconds. I mean, this game is incredibly well made. It is so well designed, and Blizzard just Blizzard's like the Nintendo. <laughs> they do not screw around. So you like you know the whole game you know you learn where the health packs are you learn how to like maneuver around memorizing so the like maps. any type oh, see so he gets you and he's stunned. So map map knowledge is like sixty percent of the battle. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I mean for sure, definitely. But having teammates that work with you is really a major part. Of it. See how I, I did that move that went right through him? Yeah, that guy was like so far away from me and yet he was still hitting you. Yeah, he's got to reach on him. So we're about to win this one. We're, we're uh, I mean, they've got Genji. How could they not win? So this is a destiny. So turn, I can go down here. The fact like, that you haven't whoop. died means that you're essentially doing an entire match unbroken. Is that the word unbroken? Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's an incredibly good. difficult thing to do. Uh oh, somebody's tuned into me. They're they're upset. Oh shit! Now I'm about to die. I'm dead. No. Climb. <laughs> I wanted to be unbroken. Dominic says it's so fast. Yes, Dominic, it is It is quick. It's a little overwhelming to start. So you basically teleported off the map. Yeah, yeah, there's edges. I fell off the side. I, I was trying to be cute. But, uh, so the what does Eugene Cal care? That's mean? their Genji uh, turning on his power. Ah. So he just paid his bill? Yeah. I'm trying to destroy that thing, but... It got that dude. Oh, there's three of them. You're dead. Ah. Oh, I got him though. We killed each other, just like that that uh, boxing video. You know what that's called? 
Uh, double knockout? Trading. Trading. Oh, all right. Missed it. I tried to sh score the basketball. All right. So yeah. I don't know. I I think going on camera would be would be okay if we yeah. if we uh, set it up. It'd just be us next to each other. We'd have to hold hands less probably yeah. than we normally do. Bitch. Oh, that's in the same place as it was last time. It was close. Yeah. But now we got to. Boom. That guy's really tough. That's Hanji. He's Genji's yeah. brother oh. or cousin or something. They're. Uh, Sort of like uh, Liu Kang and Kung Lao in Mortal Kombat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. In fact, I was just about to say the same thing. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, Genji's uh, just kind of fun to play. Once I like got decent at the wall climbing, because he just says like, "Oh, there's a wall." Well, you can you can go kind of high. <laughs> Are there certain structures you just can't get on top of? I I guess yeah, probably. It seems like it. But the levels aren't you know there's they're well made. Oh man, that was playing him kind of stupid. I think what's strange about this to me is that I'm used to PvP games where you play a class of character, but you can use pretty much any any weapon you want with different stats and yeah. configurable, you know, to use the word stats again. And here it's like the characters are restricted to oh, their. Oh, oh, oh. What the heck is that's that? Han that's Hanji's power. Fuck! I walked right into it yeah. and I stayed in it. So characters are restricted to their specific weapons that they spawn with. Yeah, there's no new weapons. Every yeah. character gets this list of stuff, and they're different and unique for everybody. But certain ones synergize well with others. Like Bastion is the... Oh, we lost that one. Holy shit, we were, we were at 99% for a while. Oh. So we got our ass kicked there. Not really, but it, we should have won that one. Dope. Let's talk. Dope. Let me, uh... Sponsored by Audible.com. <laughs> Enter promo code. Bing. Much gonna kick me off. Like, hey, no spamming. Like, oh, I'm trying to be funny, failing at, failing at. It. All right, so people don't really uh, new talk match here. And text much on this, do they? They can. You can do a lot of voice in this. I think you'd be wise to uh, do it. Genji rules the skies. So, like, it's certain maps, and depending on your play style, you know, you can pick characters. So I'm just going to stand so here and... So how critical is the whole team shooting aspect of PvP in this game? Really critical. Like, charging in one by one, trickling into the fight with with your guys, while, uh, you know, getting killed one by one versus, like, waiting and amassing a force and then going in is a huge difference. So it's not something that you do... When you're playing at this level, you're playing with a lot of strangers, so you're you're yeah. losing out on a lot of that all the time. That's the thing that I love PvP in Destiny 1. Destiny 2 is just garbage, though, because it's 100% about team shooting. And I just can't stand that. So, wait, this is what's team team shooting is what you like? Or it's no, what it's you what don't I like. hate. Yeah. I love having like intense one on one battles with people where the superior gunplay wins out. I don't like being dueling to the death with one person and then getting shot in the back by three of his teammates. Oh, yeah. Well, both of those can happen in this game. I mean, you can get into fights that are that are really one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. Like, if I know they have, like, a Reinhardt... I mean, again, I don't know how to, how to counter everybody the way you should. So they're holding a control point, right? Yeah. So I got him because I, I, I zipped through him. He was he was weak, so he, he, was, he, was, he was retreating. So if I'm, I saw him turn at me, so I got out of there. The trick of Genji, as far as I know, is to get the hell out of there when you can. So I hit somebody. So I noticed that you were there by yourself, and your team was nowhere to be found. Yeah. I should not have gone in. No, okay. Yeah. If that's what you're trying to imply. No, I'm implying your team sucks. <laughs> oh, no. it's it's. I mean, how can you expect it to be good when they're not communicating and they're all strangers? You know, it's kind of like if we were all at the, uh, you know... At the Thai restaurant, when the apocalypse strikes, and all of a sudden you got to form your new family. If you're the Olive Garden, you'd already have that done. <laughs> when you're here. So, we're starting to climb here. Although we have a nice fight. They've held it for quite a while, though. So, I'm assuming they've got a yo. Know, they're at 47 percent, and you're at zero. So they're dominating. Yeah, but we just got the control. So hopefully and do they, they, so they don't, don't lose them. percentage though, right? I don't know. I don't think you do. But I'm going to switch to a defensive one now and see if this can help us. 
Oops, that was not what I wanted to do. Okay, so Chuckle Nuts left the game. Chuckle Nuts! Just to hurt. That's a good way to just. Oh, get Dominic faster. says the tensest game ever is Bushido Blade. One kills hit. I like that. Might have to try that. Because I used to play an old. Why am I stuck? Game. What the hell? It's called, um. Continuum. I did not handle that well. And I played on a server that was one shot kills. Mm -hmm. I loved it. It was the paintball server. Oh, okay. It had another name. It was called Subspace originally, and then it became known as Continuum. Right on, right on. Alright. This is a good game. I'm going to start playing this more. Oh, you're dead. No, you can Oh, get... the pillar! It went right through the pillar! You can get out of the way. Yeah, that thing just travels through the whole thing. What's hitting me? Someone doing Genji on you? Yeah, Reinhardt. <laughs> no, I, oh. I was. I'm not playing this well because I thought we were gonna hold that area, which we're not. Yeah, I'm bad at this though. I mean, I don't. People. Ah, oh, see, we just got destroyed. Damn it! <laughs> I wish I had some loot crates to make me feel better. <laughs> you can buy them. I wish I had some of James's money to buy me loot crates <laughs> to make me feel better for Christmas. You know, you can buy me for Thanksgiving. I can buy you for Thanksgiving? Yeah. I got you your Thanksgiving present already. Oh, that would be horrifying it's if a, you did that. It's a Pilgrim cosplay outfit. Okay. And I want you to wear it to work on Monday. Otherwise, I, I will think you don't love me. Hmm. So, then, yeah, this whole thing is like you get to reward people for doing a good job. So, I'm like, all right, I'll give this guy my vote. You, you can, can be even... around next week? Yeah, yeah I'm going to be around. Okay. Yeah. Because I think I can get off work at on Wednesday at 1 o'clock, and I get Thursday and Friday off. Oh, sweet. My plan for Thanksgiving is probably to uh, probably going to do Postmates. <laughs> well, that would make sense. <laughs> I'm probably going to make money. I don't care about it. I mean, you know, what is this? Stay as a team. I don't know why. We, we, we suck Are you going to wear like a turkey hat? What the hell? Why am I? Yeah, I'm going to wear a turkey hat. So is it working on it for me? Nah. Do I need to click on this or not? I'm gonna go get another one of these. Uh, go get another one of those. Refreshment. Yeah, hell yeah, baby. While you're gone, I'm gonna tell everybody about you. You should tell everyone because uh, I think Dorm was saying that he used to play Unreal Tournament so much back in the day, but you played Quake, right? Why? Well, I, I played both of those. I played Quake a lot. I played a ton of Quake. Um, man, I I played that game so much. There's some new characters here I haven't even seen. I haven't seen this guy. Uh, yeah, my college, it, you know. We had, uh, it was a big deal. We had T1 lines. And I went to college in, in the late 90s. So we were lucky to have fast internet. But uh, Unreal Tournament was great. I remember when that came out. I was pretty excited about it. I remember playing it with my cousin. He's a big, big nerd. He's an IT guy. Oh, this is just skirmishing. So. Take that. Up the window. His social security number is. Oh fuck, he's back. It does have a four in it. Does? Yeah. Oh man, you shouldn't have given away that information. You know what's why is this taking so long? Because I'm in a team. I don't want to be in a stupid team. Yeah, sleep group. I'm gonna join up with a bunch of bunch of jamokes that have no idea. How do you talk to each other? But I, I get the sense from uh, this game, like how. Uh, so I'm reading my. Okay. Uh, sorry, I, had to, I read a text message and now I have no idea what. <laughs> I lost my train of thought completely. Um, oh, like if you were on like an organized team that practiced and like had good communication, that you know. Whoa! Oh my God! Whoa! What the heck is that? That's her new move. Is that just spinning? Is that this? I don't know. Sorry, everybody. It's messing you up. Oh, Dominic. First game I finished was Quake 2. <laughs> okay. I think I beat Quake 2 as well. Quake's the one with the lightning gun, right? Yes. I'm pretty sure, yeah. And Unreal Tournament had the rail gun, I think, right? Did you just give her a log? He does a... There's a move Genji does where he, like, prays or, or he, like, meditates or something. 
I don't know what button it is, though. <laughs> Heron had a sweet Homer Simpson mod, just my bones and organs every time you got hit. Oh, nice. I like that. All right, what's going on here? Oh, we're skirmishing. Hey. Somebody gassed me. So I can go up and go here. Just... Oh, crap. Genji gotta... versus Genji. I think I'm going to lose. Who is the better Genji? Ah. Oh, what? new game. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I didn't get killed. I was worried. Oh, Quake 2 had a real gun. Okay. Yeah, Quake 2, that had a lot of good times, but it, it didn't have the same feeling as Quake. I was Quake. more of a Doom person. Yeah. That fits. I love my uh, IDIS POPD. Mm -hmm. My IDKFA. I don't K. Okay. These were Doom cheat codes back in the day. Oh, yeah. It's all coming back. The hovering guy right there. That's the uh, Indian dude. I don't know what his name is. I've never... Certain characters are... You have to learn how to play them. You know? It's a weakness. It's a vulnerability when you're... Right. Some are easier than others. Is the new Doom good in PvP, though? I have no idea about PvP. The single player is fun, though. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I, why is he playing with the basketball? Because he punched it out of his ship. Why is he not attacking you? Well, because I'm playing with the basketball. We're buddies. Oh. I'm, I'm... This is the guy that you were fighting with, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's a deep tradition among us swordsmen to respect each other. Oh, this one's fun. This one's cool, I think. Oh, somebody already took did you game. ever Shit. Did, did you ever play um dead space in competitive uh no that was one of those unique ones where you could either play as a marine engineer or you could play as one of the aliens which and you could like be one of those little babies that would attack and burst out of a vent or something like that yeah kind of cool yeah that's cool how come they don't do more animal simulators? I know they have, like, goat simulator and other animal stuff, but, like, why not, like, a realistic bird where you get to fly around and be a bird? You mean, like, cow slaughterhouse simulator? <laughs> Game over. Yeah. Yeah, you ride up on a conveyor belt where you stand stand facing one direction for 14 years, and then you get, yep. to, get to take a conveyor belt into a blade saw. So this is Reaper. I, this is one of the first guys I actually got pretty good at, although I wouldn't claim to be good now because I honestly don't really remember. This is the guy my nephew plays. Oh, yeah? So uh -huh. he, he can teleport and get behind enemy lines real well, which is cool. So he does this. So he can, he can kind of... That's a pretty can, long teleport. Yeah, they're long. He can cross roads, but he's got lim he's like got these two guns, which are essentially shotguns. Um, high damage, but you know not good range. And... Uh, his death move is called the Death Blossom, the Q right there, and okay. that's fun. That's uh, if he gets if you if used correctly in the middle of a guy, of a bunch of dudes and you drop in and they don't see you, you, you can knock out tons of tons it's of. It's like an area of effect type damage. Yeah, basically. Okay. But he spins around shooting his guns. Yeah, it's cool. So I'm gonna stand here. He's really annoyed. He didn't. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, fuck. Fucking Sandman. <laughs> These guys are cool. I've never really played that much. Invincible? Yeah, I don't know what that means. Um, There's nothing worse you can do than to put something on a green screen. That is so screwed up. <laughs> to paint on a green screen. <laughs> Other than more green. So, yeah, I... I in fact, I should be using it to, like... He, you can use this stuff to sort of just get yourself places quicker, too. So I'm wide, wide open here. Not he a great shot spot. shot that guy in the back twice, and he's That's, not dead? But he's got a big... He's got a huge... Get out of there. I'm getting shocked. That's a very inefficient way to reload your guns. Yeah. Oh, I got him. You killed Rampage. Yeah. <laughs> I killed George. I like referring to characters by the name of the movie they're in. Sure. I do that. It works sometimes, like Indiana oh, I'm Jones. Dead. I'm dead. Oh, yeah, he's got that runaway thing. I forgot I forgot about that. What are people saying there? Playing mar Marathon on a network in the mid-90s. I don't even know what he's talking oh, about. Oh, one it? of the first games I ever played on, like, a computer LAN was Descent. And that was fun. 
got yeah. lost very easily, but it was cool. Polygon, yeah, flying around the caves and stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. man, that game was amazing. I remember seeing Doom for the first time on a computer that could handle it because my brother's friend's dad owned like, a computer company or something, so they had these like amazing computers, which were... I saw him. I knew he'd be really vulnerable as soon as he landed, or as soon as he stopped. Okay, so uh, yeah, descent was fun. You you learn how to like roll and you know 3D environments and stuff. Yeah, man, I'm there, dude. Oh, that's his rampage thing. We don't want to screw that. He just hit me. Okay. Oh, can't believe I survived. Oh. That reminds me, uh, we did a Twin Peaks video a long time ago. Yes. And one person commented on it saying that they didn't have HBO, couldn't afford not they couldn't oh, afford actually. Showtime, so they couldn't didn't get a chance to yeah, didn't get a chance to see it, but they'd watch our videos to see it. And and I went ahead and I bought like a gift certificate for Showtime for like three months of it, so he could watch it and said, "Is you know, send us a private message so I can get it to you," but he never did. Wait, wait, wait what? Did you ever see that? No. Who did you give it to? No, I couldn't give it to anyone because uh, I was waiting for him to message us so I could send him the code, but I never saw a message from him. Oh. So I've still got this code thing sitting out there. Is that you think that's something anyone would be interested in? What is it? It's three months of Showtime. Yeah. Oh. Um. Yeah, probably. I don't know if we want to just do. You want to just give it away or? I have to go and see what the code is. Yeah, and maybe find next, and Everything, but uh, yeah, maybe next time. Yeah. Or if you want to do it now, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I don't have the code on me right now, but I figured that's something we could do because I yeah, eventually. don't want it to expire. For sure. Get some use out of it. So, look, I'm going to use my uh, power here once I see a couple of their guys. But I don't want to do it when they're... It kinda, it's best when you kind of catch them off guard. So let me see if I can get some health. <laughs> What's Showtime? It's, is there anything good on Showtime aside from Twin Peaks? The... Red, Red Shoe Diaries. Red Shoe Diaries? Oh, uh, no, that's the only thing on Showtime that I'm aware of. That Is that even still a thing? I don't know. I don't know. Watch this. Here we go. And if you're not really... Very bad use of that. <laughs> it didn't... It was really dumb. Yeah. I was hoping it would... Oh, I didn't expect the, the killer to come around the corner. Did you, motherfuckers? <laughs> then I turn into a ghost and fly away. Oh, I totally wasted my power. Showtime had uh, Dead Like Me. That was only like 20 years ago. Oh, he's just tough trying guy. to get your bags for you to take him up to your room. Concierge, <laughs> bellhop. I want to be rich enough that I have uh, concierges at the hotels I go to. I want to be able to go to any hotel. I want to be rich enough to afford a Motel Eight. Even the crappiest hotels feel fancy to me. Yeah, because I'm in a place that's not my own place, but it's like, yep, this is my room for tonight. Really? Yeah, really soaking it in. It's like, yep, that's my little safe. No, I agree. I always feel like I'm in some sort of private domain. Mm-hmm. Although then you start looking at the tomato seeds stuck to the remote control and going, "Oh God, I'm in trouble." Uh oh, they're but they're threatening right now. They they're on our base. I can tell because of the circle it's filling on the upper. Oh no! So if they fill the circle, they're gonna take yeah, the point around okay. the A. Yeah, and then that it changes into a whole different phase of the game. So we got to get them out of here. Like, if I had that power, it'd be a great time to use it right now. She's really hard when people use her right. Oh, good, I got her. She, she freezes you, so you slow down. Ah. It's annoying as shit. I've tried to play with her, the the, fr- the freezing girl, and she's hard to play. You gotta, just, you gotta be willing to suck for a while until you get good at it. Dude, this game is so good. I forget how good this is. You could just find it online. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, I used to do a ton of torrenting and, and yeah. piracy stuff. The closest I get to that now is just like YouTube uploads that aren't the company that made the song. Like I, I don't like doing that stuff anymore. It's just more. I mean, I, I create my own. I create videos. I create a lot of my own stuff, and I understand the, you know, the morality of it. I guess I don't judge people for doing it necessarily, but I, I feel like if you have the means to not do it that way, there, you, you should. You should at least acknowledge that, or at least feel guilty. Yeah. Some people don't, and that's that's fine too. I, I, was, I work that. surrounded by intellectual property management attorneys. Yeah. So it's. So you're 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 deep in the heart of that. Pretty much, yeah. even suggesting, even joking about piracy at work turns everyone's head, and everyone gets really upset. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of money. Yeah. Um. 
I mean, there's a whole case to be made for, well, then they should develop an economic model that fits around our behavior of watching it for, you know, but look, this shit ain't cheap. Oh, I see that guy really wanted to be Genji. I hate that I have a team that, so I'll, I'll be this guy now. I've never really been good at him. He's like the generic soldier, soldier 76. That's why they okay. call him that. And, uh, but used effectively, he could be quite, quite good. His, one of his powers is he can run. Uh, let's see. No, I, I completely get that, Dominic. It's, yeah, no, I understand where you're coming from, Dominic, and it's not a judgment on you. I just I used to do a lot of pirates, pirate, like pirate pirate games. Remember the early days when the internet was slow? I would do those RAR downloads of like mm -hmm. 400 RAR files. Each one was 15 megabytes, yeah. and, you, and you'd you'd get through like 20 of them, and then your mom would kick you <laughs> off the phone. I don't like Dominic's keyboard. It looks like the M and the N's are broken. Oh, Aaron, I totally recognize Kaza. Kaza, Aaron. I used Kaza too. Kaza, Kaza, Light, Napster. I mean, I used to do uh, IRS chat rooms. IRS, no, not IRS chat rooms. <laughs> uh, here's, here's the thing. What kind of candy is two letters joined by an ampersand? This is what I've always wanted to do at every movie theater. Wait, are you asking me? No, I'm just trying to oh. screw up Dominic's keyboard. <laughs> what, is he, what? His M and N's are stuck. Oh, is that why he's typing all the N's on his Yeah, thing? I think okay. so. All right. Uh... No, IRC chat room. So I would do IRC chat rooms. and then What does IRC stand for? Internet Relay Chat. Nice. And, ICQ uh, was my thing. Uh, ah, ah, ah. To this very day, I was number 1452212. You will still find me. Is, if ICQ is even around still, but that was my UIN, user ID number. Wow. I miss ICQ. And during the chat, you can do like control G to make the... the yeah, yeah, the, you can, yeah. I really miss that. So this guy, his sprinting apparently is like one of his benefits. Come on, we didn't kill him. Did you ever, do you remember something like the early days of the internet? It was called uh, Alamac Chat. Mm, no. No, no, I don't remember that. <laughs> but I do definitely remember the IRC stuff where you get into like those IRC download things. Oh fuck, motherfucker came back and killed me. Ah, that was probably emotionally satisfying for him. <laughs> Dominic says, my friend had a gym bag full of chipped games he kept in his room. When we saw two cops come, he just picked up the bag and out the back door. <laughs> saw the cops coming, not two cops. Ah, whatever. Uh, that sounds very uh, Matthew Broderick and War Games or something. They probably would have had no idea what they were anyway. So... I love games that uh, introduce certain elements that if you pirate the game, they still let you play it, but they screw with you afterwards. Oh, yeah. It's like, there was one famous one. I, I don't remember which one it was. I think it was like, uh, oh, what? It's the one where guys with no heads come charging at you, and it's like this tongue-in-cheek first-person shooter, really bizarre stuff. Serious Sam? Yes, yes. Yeah. But I think they put like this unkillable scorpion boss that just follows you the entire time and kills you constantly. Oh, really? If you have the pirated version, yeah. That's awesome. I love that. Okay, so now it's changed to not... It's not a capture. Now it's a get this car to the certain destination. So it's changed the, the parameters of the, the goal. The next phase is different. You're basically an Uber driver now. Yeah, essentially. We're an Uber escorter. Yeah. Oh, I gotta get some health. Speaking of cops, have you ever had cops come to your house when you were a kid? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I had a fucked up family childhood. <laughs> have you? I think I had cops at my house four times that I can remember. Do you remember specifically why or what incidences? Uh, yeah. Are they something you can talk about? Um, or are they like embarrassing and weird? No, 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 no. Uh, one of them was my grandparents lived right across the street from me. Right on. Yeah. I always call the cops on grandparents. Well, no, what, what happened was is that my um, my grandmother had just died from a brain tumor. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, yeah. And, and then my grandfather died about four or five months afterwards, as it tends to happen. You know, you live with someone for so long, you're, you're tired. Yeah. It's one of these weird things that's human biology and stuff. It yeah. tends to be. Yeah, and nobody makes you your mac and cheese, and then you die of starvation. Yeah. So their house was sitting across the street empty, and they were not... Poor people. I mean, my family was not rich, but they were very stingy. They had a lot of very, very, very expensive antiques and stuff in their house. 
And there was a lot of uh, news stories going around by like antiquities and things being stolen by some people. And and we lived in a very small area, so this was big news. It's like holy crap, there's a bunch of thieves coming That's around. Fucked up that guy. Yeah. And, Six player kill streak. Ooh. And apparently one night we see this black van pull up to their house and a, a bunch of a van. Yes. Okay. And a bunch of people pry the door open and go inside. Whoa. And my dad grabbed his gun, ran across the street. And they jumped in the van and ran off, and he chased them down the road. My mom called the cops, and the cops came to our house, and they peeled off down the street, and she was screaming, Don't shoot my husband! Did the... Wait, did... so wait. Was your dad at risk of being shot? I mean, meaning like... Well, yeah, because the cops wouldn't have known who, you know, they would have just... My dad was just some g crazy-looking guy with a gun chasing after another car at high speeds. Yeah. So she was, you know, a little bit worried that they might mistake oh, him her. for something. Get him! Good they got. But they got away, so they, they, got, they so didn't steal anything. They didn't have time to take anything, so but that's what they were trying to do. So your, did your dad? Uh, your dad went in there with a gun though and scared them off. Yeah. And then they ran away. Man, that's scary, man. That's I'm um, good for your dad, and I'm glad nobody got hurt. That's how those yeah. things go down, man. A lot of times those guns start going off, and all of a sudden everybody's fucking dead. Yeah. And the other time was my uh, I was at school. My mom was home alone, and you know like those uh, above ground pools that people have, and like. Not the most classy looking thing, but yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. We we were surrounded. I was yeah, tons yeah. Of so my parents had one of those, and kids, during the kids winter time, those all the time when I was. Well, kid. yeah, exact. That's exactly the point. Uh, I know. During the winter time, you put the cover over it, and then it rains and stuff. And if you don't have something in the middle to make the water swell oh. off of it. Oh, I thought I was Genji there. I got excited. Oh, that's not me. Yeah, apparently it'll just have like standing water, and it will freeze around the pool. So if you don't do it correctly, you have this big sheet of frozen ice on top of the pool, which we yeah. didn't do it correctly, and that's what happened. So a kid and, got under there? No, one of my dogs walked on top of it, oh. fell through, fell through, got wrapped up in the cover, and it was, like, freezing, and my mom couldn't get him out, so she called the police, and they came and dove into the freezing pool and saved our dog. Really? Yeah. So the cop jumped into the water? The cop did, did, did that. Did he, uh, did he take off anything before he did? Like, hey, I wasn't. I wasn't there to say, I don't know about that, but I just remember, it's like, my respect for the local police went up a million points after hearing that. Yeah, I would think so, for sure taking that kind of risk i mean i would have gone and gotten the uh that big shovel thing the the, the net on the stick mm. the pool cleaner and try to get the dog out that way um so oh, dominic says my sister saw some guys pull a dude into a van in china <laughs> they might have been triads is triads like a gang or something like a yeah some sort so. of a, a organized crime i think that's the, the i mean this is a very dumb ignorant not Meaning, like, I really don't have any idea, but I know the Yakuza is, like, the Japanese mob. Yes, uh, I know that one. And the triad, I think, is, like, the Chinese mob. But that's obviously a no vast okay. oversimplification based on my ignorance about yeah. the whole thing. I but think I, I would look it up on Alta Vista and get some information. Yeah, I would not exactly try and help someone if I Damn. saw, like, the Mafia or the Yakuza or a triad. Yeah. That would be a little bit beyond my abilities. Yeah, totally. I mean, seeing some guy get beat up by Girl Scouts, that's beyond my abilities. I just stand back and say, you got yourself into this. You saw a guy get beat up by Girl Scouts? No, if I did, there'd be nothing I could do. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I can't risk having my thin mints cut off. I've been thinking about taking boxing and uh, judo or jujitsu or something or something. Like, I, I kind of feel like uh, I'm trying to get in shape. I'm working on my body here. I'm tired of being a fat ass that hates himself all the time, so I'm trying to lose weight. I have a bunch of pants I can't wear and stuff. Mm. Uh, you know, some cool shirts that, that I can't wear right now. I've, I've let it go. I've, I've, I've developed a bad case of video editor body, and... Um, kind of sick of it but i'm also uh i don't expect to ever have to fight anybody but you know you're out in the world there's always douchebags <laughs> you never know when you need to knock a bitch out and i'm just like man i should just take some boxing classes or something just to get used to being punched and used to standing there and throwing down a little bit i can help you with that okay hit me oh i don't think we've ever touched i think we accidentally touched each other once we don't even <laughs> shake hands See, I don't. I have no physical proof that you're not a ghost. <laughs> well, other than that, your chips keep going missing. Well, yeah. Although I didn't eat your chips. Ah. Although there is some salsa that's in the fridge that I'm going to steal from you, unless you don't want. So this, I'm not standing in a smart spot here. This is a dumb, dumb location to. Uh... Oh, Dominic also saw a bunch of bikers kick the crap out of some people. Yeah, it's like. At what point do you try and be a hero and jump in and rectify a situation, even though that you know you're going to mess I mean, up yourself? I mean, you have to do the math in the moment. I mean, there's a certain... There's, there's, there's about The best thing you can do is film it, honestly. And the thing no is you, fight goes unfilmed these days. But you, you know. see two guys going at it, you, and you get there after the fact. You don't know who started it, who's at fault, oh, I'm not if anyone's no. justified. Do you do anything? No. What? No. Most you I just would, jump off a cliff? I got pushed off. I got bounced off. Of <laughs> my, my guns... <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not jumping in on two dudes if I walk up. But if, I don't know, 
it's hard to that's a thing man you don't know like I, violence i hate i abhor violence i hate it i, I find it it stress i it, i get stressed just thinking about let's it let's say that you happen to show up and see two people fighting and you happen to have a net gun a net gun yes i would Do net you, them both up yeah you fire it okay and then i would launch them into the sun just like, yes. just like all those nuclear because weapons that's what a net gun's ammunition. alternate fire does yeah so we're getting destroyed here these guys have got a good defense going on here they've got their bubble well actually no they don't but they are moving their thing along so we're not doing a good job of holding them off because i'm not genji some other assholes genji i want to get my genji it's because they're hitting the checkpoints and yeah, no, I, I, I just detest violence in all forms. I understand the necessity to, 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 to knock a bitch out if he's, if he's like, disrespecting your lady or doing something terrible. By using a word like the B word? Well, you don't beat somebody up for using the B word. Um, but, you know, there's a time when it's, sometimes it's the only language people understand, and I'm not for that. I hate it. Yeah, get close to me, motherfucker. Ah, oh, what the fuck? I'm not even sure. Gemini spark. See, like when you play this game a ton, though, you like you know all the different tweaks and stuff. Oh, uh, see you later. Oh, all right. Hey, Sorry Kir if I'm saying your name wrong. Kirill Eliev. Bye. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hit up. Hit, follow James on Twitter at video James SP. It'll make his day. I tweet once a year. That'll change. <laughs> if I get my Santa, if Santa gives me the wish I asked for. All right, so here I got I got my power, and anyway, we're gonna end around six thirty. So I think we'll play for another like fifteen minutes or so. Cool. So here I'm gonna try to get up high, and get in here. Watch this. Ah, oh, it didn't kill anybody. You lied to me. You said it, it was gonna be amazing. But it did a lot of damage. I heard all the clicky noises. I heard die, die, die. <laughs> hey, there's me. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, Harambe got you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, kills you twice, multiple times. Oof, James just cracked his neck. No, oh, yeah. That it is, does that. it's like your X Man power. James can crack his back and his neck like nobody's business. Yep. I haven't seen that much crack since a documentary about the 80s. Oh my god, it's 2 15 a.m. for Dominic? Jesus. I don't think any, I don't think we have a single viewer in, in America. Yeah, America. They, they all seem to be England. That is. There's two places I would like to live if I didn't live here. One is Seattle, the other is England. Really? Those two yeah. places? It's just everything about like the English culture, television, movies, humor, comedy, everything about it I absolutely love. About England? Yes. Not Seattle. Not Seattle. I just like, yeah. I like rain. Well, sure. But it's like... I find very few things in America funny, but I watch anything in like British television, British game shows, and things like that. Yeah, it just kills me. Did you ever watch? Oh wait, Richie Daggers in Hawaii, so he's ahead of us. Oh shoot, that's cool. Which uh, which island are you on, uh, Richie? I couldn't even name them. Let me try to name them: Hawaii, the big one; Oahu; Maui. Oh, grew up in Seattle though. Um, cool. Wharf. Uh. Wharf. <laughs> the cool thing for me, like I, I had a friend who visited Hawaii once, and he was telling me about all the places he went. And there's so many places that have like these ridiculously cool long names, like Hoana Hana Hana Hu. Or I just love. Yeah, there's I, cool names. Yeah, it's just I can't. I don't know any of them. I just know like that. I wish I knew them. I took uh, geology in college, just one of those like freshman geology classes. And the professor was this old crusty white guy, but he was a, he was a chill crusty. He was like a cool guy, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> he, he was telling us about how oh. they would go on these geology trips, and they went to I have two. There's a Hawaii relevant story here, sort of, but they would go to um, some place in the Caribbean somewhere, and they'd get all fucked up on these b drinks that they would make, <laughs> like alcoholic drinks. And then, the, and then he just randomly goes, and then the wild man of Borneo would beat on us with a stick. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, what the fuck? What the hell? Where did that come from? Oh. But then he said, oh, you got another thing you want to say? Well, no, just about British TV shows. I'll go, I'll go oh. after you, though. All right, well, this is the Hawaii connection. Nice. Got him. This is a tough stop here. 
Oh, he, he turned into a ghost and got away. No, I had to reload. I had a shot on him, but I had yeah. to reload. Anyway. Okay, real quick, real quick. Mm -hmm. So the same teacher talking about... Um, uh, oh, he's on the island of Hawaii. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, talking about uh, fuck, a volcano uh, rock, volcanic rock. And he said there's two kinds. I'm sure there's a lot more kinds. There's, you know, I'm sure everything's always more nuanced. But he goes, he goes. There's the sharp, jagged kind called ah ah, what? Which is that's and that's and the other kind is the smooth, ropey kind. that's not painful to touch because it's not sharp. It's like smooth. That's called pahoy hoy. And he goes, and here's how you remember it: is if you're barefoot and you step on the ah ah, you go ah ah, and if you step on the pahoy hoy, you go pahoy hoy. <laughs> It's funny you should mention that because Which that is. I don't is, know why it's so funny. That man. is my go-to Scrabble word. Pahoy. Not hoy. that one. Ah, it's literally ah. spelled A A. Yeah, yeah. And whenever I'm like trapped in Scrabble, I always oh. pull that one out. Totally. It's not worth many points, but in terms of like British TV shows that I watch, you mean a double A is not worth a lot of points in Scrabble. <laughs> no, it's not. It's whenever you're trying to finish it out. But I watch all oh, my British my. stuff on YouTube because I don't have any avenue to get other words. I, I'm a huge fan of David Mitchell. I watch The Peep Show. I watch What I Lied to You. I watch um, Countdown, QI, the the big fat British quizzes, whatever they call them. Great baking show. Yeah, anything I can find, I watch. Yeah. Did you ever watch the uh, Fantastic Jonathan and Dr. Norrell or that, that magic magician show? It's kind of good. Um, I know. Uh, it's on the, Netflix. I, I know Jonathan. I've seen his stuff. Jonathan before. Strange and Mr. Norrell. Maybe not. I'll, I'll have to look for it. Black Books is one of my favorite British shows. I will look for that. Did you watch The Crown? I, I really like The Crown. Uh, I did not see that. Typically, it's like British comedy I love. Yeah. I, and Sherlock with Benedict Cumberbatch is not a comedy, but still, I love that too. Yeah. The thing I love about the British is that they do not grind something into the ground. They do something great, high quality, and they end it when it's when the story is done. They don't just keep yeah. stretching it out like... um. Broadchurch was something I watched. That was fantastic. Okay. David Tennant's one of my favorite actors. Um, it's just, I very rarely get disappointed by watching yeah. British made products. I wish you could say the same about the British Empire. Uh, Talk no, about stretching something no, out. Okay? Well, I mean, hey, they, they little, learned that little, lesson. Way to overstay your welcome, you fucking Brit Brits. Maybe that's why they're so good at making things condensed and ending it in appropriate times now because their empire crumbled. That could be it. Yeah. And they learn from their mistakes, unlike Americans. <laughs> Our empire is uh, way worse and yep. weird, and mostly based on the uh, protecting capitalism, uh, hoarding wealth at the expense of poor people throughout the world. Uh, no, I, and by the way, when I tease the British, it's only because I am part British. I have my my last name is I believe is British. I've never actually looked it up. I'm just assuming. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, I have British blood. I, I, yeah. yeah, it's the worst As blood. Do I. It's the worst blood in me. What are you mostly? Irish? I don't know. You gotta be something. How far back does your family go in America? I never looked. Nobody ever my said... Grand, my grandparents would always say, our oh, family came over on the Mayflower. And I was like, shut up, you pretentious pieces of crap. Do you believe that? No. <laughs> my mom told us that we were Cherokee, part Cherokee Indian, mm -hmm. and that we were descended from Pocahontas and John Smith. And we were like, me and my brothers were these blonde little white boys looking around, walking around like the fucking Hitler youth. Going up to our teachers, telling them that we were related to Pocahontas, thanks to my mom and her oh stupid lie. God. But uh, that she thought we were Cherokee Indian, which is nonsense. We couldn't look like more like not that. But she, uh, like, oh, it's not unique. I've talked to other people who said that their their parents or their mom said that they were Cherokee Indian, and there's some. There must have been something in the because my mom's from that generation where, uh, like, they like trusted TV. Like, if they saw like. Drink Old Spice. Old, Drink. old Spice is, will will make your children grow up strong. You mean Put, old teen? No, I'm saying old. Drink a jug of Old Spice. My mom would be like, you know, Old Spice is really good for you. You know, a lot of people make the mistake of trusting mm -hmm. what they see, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but, you know, you got to question the motives of what, of the information you're given, of the person giving you information. And, now, can you and just grab no, that buffer and just spend the whole level just using it? Burr. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> But uh, no, one day we figured out that my mom was full of shit, and life's oh, it's been life's been terrible ever since. Okay, so watch this. Oh, ah! All right, so they've got a bastion. That's the 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 the, uh, the turret guy. He is in big trouble with me around. Although I just I just get killed, but I got I got killed by the whole team there. 
because Genji has a thing that deflects the bullets straight backwards, nah. and they're, they're, it's it's extremely effective against those guys. So I need to get him on me. Why is he just ignoring you? <laughs> Hit me! Oh fuck! He waited. How often can you deflect? Uh, lower right corner is the countdown. Like right there, I just pushed a bunch back at him. I reflected 26. See, I'm not doing that well, but I think we're going to lose this one. But if I can get rid of that Bastion, then we might be... Uh... Again. So what other crazy stuff did your mother tell you that was bullcrap oh, growing up? I mean, because I've got one thing my mom tried to get me to believe my entire life, which I had always known was bullcrap. Uh, go ahead. I don't know what. My mom is one of those people that is absolutely convinced that the house that I grew up in was not only haunted, but there were ghosts all throughout her life. It's like, oh my god, what is it with? I, I just can never wrap my head around that stuff. Why do people believe that? I, I I don't know. I mean, ghosts are obviously not a thing. There's yeah. The explanation for mysterious occurrences makes so much more sense if you factor in the vagaries of human imagination and human memory. Yeah. The, the, every, that can account for every single part of it. I mean, I would absolutely love it if there was compelling evidence, scientific evidence that came out that proved that they were real. Because there's nothing in the world that makes me happier than being proven wrong about something and that things are more complex or interesting than I ever thought that they ever were. That's, yeah. you know, I'm open to that. Oh, it would change the world. Yeah. It would be incredible. But be I like discovering aliens. Yeah, but it's just like, uh... And on the same token, I'd love to know, hey, look, they found Bigfoot. Very cool. But Come on, everybody, until then, it's like, eh, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Bigfoot is, seems more possible than ghosts, but I don't yeah. think that's even possible at this point. But uh, I mean, what, so, what was the nature of the ghosts you had? Were they were they scary? Did they live all? Were they always there? Did no, they she had go? this big long story about when she was a kid. She went to some uh, Indian reservation that her mom took her to. Hilarious. And she claims that there was a guy there who sold her a dream catcher, and she put it <laughs> over her bed. And that night, she had this terrible dream that she was being flung across the walls, and she landed on the ground, and it pulled her under her bed. And she saw something under her bed that she had lost a long time ago. Okay. And when she woke up, she looked under her bed, and it was there. So she was like, oh, it wasn't a dream. And then she went out and burned the dream catcher in the backyard afterwards, and it all stopped. Oh. And like, how old was she when all this went down? She, uh, she's probably like a preteen, teenager type thing. Okay, so she she, she basically wrote crap. herself into a Stephen King novel. Yeah. That's funny. And then there's another story that she has that when she was, uh, I mean... See, I just went charging in like an idiot here, so I'm totally screwed. Yeah, but her other... And, and this is the story that, that, <laughs> that bothers me a little bit because my dad is a no-nonsense guy, right? Yeah, I like that. He doesn't believe in this kind of garbage. He, but there was a time when they had just gotten married, so they were like, you know, 32, 33, right around my age, actually, right yeah, now. Yeah, get, getting it in there. And uh, they were hunting, on a hunting trip, my mom and her friend and my dad and his friend were on a hunting trip staying in a cabin out in the woods in a place that we owned. And they claimed that uh, my dad and his friend were off hunting, or, or not, actually not off hunting, they were going to get firewood, because it was the middle of the winter, there was snow everywhere, it was still, snow was still falling, and all that kind of stuff. And they claim that there was the sound of people, someone stomping on the roof to the point the snow was falling through the cracks in the cabin. Right. And then there was a sound of stomping outside the door as if someone was stomping the snow off of their boots. Yeah. And they claim that they had, the, they had like 22 rifles or something like 22 caliber, not 22 rifles. They don't have an arsenal inside the cabin, you know. But uh, that they went outside, there were no footprints anywhere, none outside the door, none outside the cab, none, none on the roof, nothing like that. And to this day, they couldn't explain it. Okay. And my dad will so not... So, mis mysterious gunshots, is that what you're saying? No, stomping what? of feet. Oh, stomping of feet, sorry. I'm, I'm half paying attention. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the kind of story that my mom told me growing up all the time. And my dad, being a no-nonsense person, would never deny it. Because he wasn't even there, though. So, I was like, okay, well, he could possibly... What could he possibly know about it? Okay. But it's just... 
the, the human imagination can make you think ridiculous things sometimes. Yes. So I personally don't believe any of it, but I do love the idea of it yeah. being possibly true. It's amazing. It's all kind of cool. Like yeah. I, the notion that there's a spiritual force that exists afterwards or some sort of, you know, that's I, I dig it, man. Mm -hmm. I, I get where that comes, where people... It also gives you a sense of, uh, you know, because it's hard for people to, to, to accept the idea that you just stop stop existing when you're dead yeah so it, it contributes to the notion that there's a persistence to your soul or to pers persistence to your to, to a being's existence which you know is the case oh i went for a thing and then he stunned me these guys are working together better than we are i think um i was trying to do that slide push thing where i just slam into no it. and there's other one that they got my sister believing too because my sister is just as gullible my sister's the kind of person who would wake up screaming like every third night and have my parents come running upstairs because there were aliens on the roof outside our window. Sounds healthy. Yeah. But her, the, the whole thing they were going on about is that there was a large oil painting of a, a man who lived in our house a long, long time ago. It was like his, I think his, we always call him like Mr. McFall because that was his name. And there was a smaller picture of him in a frame on top of a knickknack case. And yeah. my mother and sister were convinced that there was a he was haunting the house because at one point his picture frame fell off of the knickknack case and landed standing upright on the ground. Okay. It's like, well, yeah, that's physics and gravity. It can happen. You know, it's, it's, just because something unlikely happens doesn't mean that it's an impossible paranormal event. Right. And they claimed that the room that it was in was so haunted that they could never go into it. And it was the room that I had my computer set up in, and I was on my computer until like 5 a.m. every morning during that time in the summer. I never saw crap. Okay, so let me ask you this then. So you lived with all these superstitious people that believed these yeah. things, and they were probably fairly convincing. I mean, you're a young guy. You, you know, mm -hmm. little kids trust the the adults around them and the older people around them. It's kind of the thing. Mm -hmm. Did you ever doubt it, or did you oh, walk absolutely. around scared? Or you, no, you, no, you were skeptical from the beginning. No, I'm the kind of person where unless I see evidence for something, I'm not buying it. Okay, interesting. So I. I all those kind of times, like my sister and stuff growing up as kids, like open the top, the door to the upstairs, and it's like pitch black down the landing, down into the living room. Yeah. Everyone's be like, oh, I'm afraid. I'm not going to go down. There's like, there's nothing there. And I was walking to the dark because I don't, just because you can't see doesn't mean there's monsters out there and all that kind of crap. But I guess it's a little bit of a lack of imagination, but. Yeah. No, I don't think it's lack of imagination. I mean, if anything, I would think you'd, you'd I would have guessed that you would have been the trusting kid. Not that you weren't. I'm just saying like, I, you know, I remember I mean, one of the lessons everybody learns when they're growing up is that adults are full of shit. Mm -hmm. Eventually, you figure that out—a version of that. You figure out, oh, wait a minute, my parents aren't gods. My parents yeah. are—you know—you see them cry. Maybe your dad falls down and doesn't handle it well, or something like yep. that. I stopped trusting my parents the day they told me that the people on the news could hear me yelling and crying as a kid to get me to shut up. Yeah. When I found out that was bullcrap, all trust was lost. <laughs> Wait, say that again? Your dad was doing what? Well, they they were, they knew, uh, even as a child, when I was, like, crying and making noise, stuff like that, they would try and get a moment of peace by telling me that the man in the, the newscaster, the anchor, could hear me and that I was disrupting oh. the news for everyone. Really? Yeah. Wow. I was, like, three or something. Yeah. And I believed it, because, and I would get really quiet, because I was like, oh, shoot, I shouldn't do that. Shut up, James! Yeah, people are trying to listen to the Shut news. Shut up, you little fucking toddler! The yep. newsman can hear you. You're going to distract him. Sorry to yep. give your parents a dumb accent. I didn't mean to do that. That's not that far off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I uh, I have a couple ghost stories my grandma used to throw out there. Uh, she lived in an old lady house. You know, that whole thing. Mm -hmm. Great. I used my power there and wasted it. Um, there's One of them was she would hear the piano at night mm -hmm. when there was nobody around. Could just but be a mouse running across it. They had a cat. Oh well, okay, even more so, yeah. <laughs> but there was another ghost story. These are the two that like freaked me out. One of them especially, <laughs> that they were. We had these heavy ass. Uh... Oh, before you, Dominic says, "Daddy can't hear you in the dark." That's my favorite. <laughs> I love that. Uh, I don't even know what he's talking about. Like... No, like bullcrap stories parents tell their kids. Oh like, yeah. To, to shut up. Like the lights off. I can't hear you. Might as well not talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're just standing here getting whooped. The old lady house, grandma ghost story. Though. Yeah, Go. grandma. Okay, one of them was that my grandma was sitting there, and a and a, a speaker, like a heavy wooden speaker, came flying off the shelf and hit her in the head. That's a little and, extreme. And bonked her. And I I don't know, 
I, I don't. I never had a chance because I would have been like, "Who was in the room? Okay, what was though, going on? Were was you she drinking? sitting below it and did it fall off a shelf and hit her, or did it come flying from across the room?" I don't remember because that makes a big difference. Yes, yeah, like, like a shelf could could work its way off. You know, things sometimes just fall. Not 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 meaning like you just didn't realize it was close to falling or some other thing pushed it. Wow, that stream of stuff is crazy. These guys are really putting up a fight here. Um. So yeah, I don't know. I, I like you know nutty, nutty ass stuff. Who knows? But the other one was that she dreamt. I don't know what the dream was, but she woke up with, with like, uh, cuts all over her back. Hmm. But she also owns cats, though. Yes, so. and, and that's what we think it was. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so the, the cat was just slicing open her back all night. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. Yes. No, oh, I didn't, didn't even hit. Wasted that. Launch thing. So here, let me get in there. Watch this. Hit him! No, I didn't. I ran out. Oh, I was waiting for my charging yeah. thing to power back up. Yeah, my sister was a huge dork in terms of this kind of stuff growing up. She still is. She still believes in mermaids and, and ridiculous stuff like that. Astrology. But yes, and she and all of her stupid friends. Oh, we lost. Damn it. Went to a bookstore. We'll do one more round and then we'll, we'll call it. Close. And they bought a. a what they thought was like a demonic book mm -hmm. turned out it was just a book of Wiccan stuff. So okay. it was like whatever. So your, your your parents thought it was demonic. No, my sister thought it was. That's why she bought it. Oh, I see. And oh, they, okay. and they went and did one of their little rituals in the barn across the field from my house, where they they brought and we found where they did it. They like found a dead bird, and they had they, they pricked their fingers and dripped blood on it, and, and pulled some flowers, and they burned it and said words, and then buried it upside down, and all this bull crap. Yeah. And she was convinced, and she actually convinced my mother that she opened a dark portal. And for like literally like five months after that, my mother was convinced the house was super haunted, and I had to live in a place where no one would walk in the dark, no one would go unescorted through the living room at night. It was just the most stupid crap ever. So how did you do that? If you woke up, you'd have to go get somebody to get you to walk across they, the room? They would need that, yeah. It was very yeah. annoying. I'm surprised you're not more screwed up than you are. Well, no, my dad was the the rational one. Oh, he kept you sane. Yeah. So if your dad was like your mom and sister, do you think you'd just be off? Oh, yeah. 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 Same here a little bit. My mom, as much as I care for the lady, you know, she had bipolar. and Not that, you know, there was, we had a lot of medical issues with her a lot and things got pretty crazy for quite a lot of my yeah. childhood <laughs> things were not... yeah my there's favorite a, thing ever though there's a reason i am the way i am and because of, because growing up like this my mom would watch nothing but like ghost tv shows i still watch mm -hmm. them to this day because i find them hilarious like like solved mysteries unsolved mysteries was i loved those Why but, there but like ghost solved... adventures and these these stupid as crap shows that go on tv now yeah. They're all like shot in the dark and like night vision and these people are claiming to be sack. It's like my mom's idol growing when I was growing up was the Montel Williams show Sylvia Brown. Wait. Who has been proven to be a, a load of garbage. Was she like a guest that was on Montel a bunch of Constantly. times? Constantly. She was okay. a psychic that was on Montel all the time. Okay. And yeah. her biggest uh moment of shame was that um Yes, Hank only stands over me while I'm sleeping. Mm -hmm. But her her big moment of shame was that... He's an angel when he sleeps. Yes. A, a woman came on the show and asked Sylvia... And by the way, Sylvia Brown charges like $700 a minute. And there's a waiting list of like a year to talk to her. She's dead now, but at the time that was the case. Is this a... This isn't the black lady, the Jamaican no. one. That, no, no, no. Call, no. call that, me that, now. That's Cleo. Cleo, yeah. This she is Sylvia hilarious. Brown. All right. She made millions off of this the scam that she was showing, but this the people genuinely believed her, and they would come on the show in emotional pain, asking for her help on things. And she's this woman stood up, very emotional, saying, uh, "I need closure from my husband. Is he okay where he is right now?" Yeah. And Silver Brown, knowing nothing about the stories, was like, "Yeah, hon, he's you know he's dead. You know that." But yeah, I see him. He he's in water. He drowned. I see his body in water, and she just kind of looked dumbfounded for a second and said, "Well, he was in the towers when they collapsed wow, in 9 11. He was yeah. one of the first responders." And knowing that she was completely blown out of the water by this, she said, um, "What did he say? Oh yeah, but you know the fire hoses. Sometimes they turn the wrong way. Yeah, he drowned from the fire hoses." It's like what? garbage. That's insane. How, oh, yes. You... Yes, Dominic, the amazing Randy. I love him. 
He is, is that amazing. The, is that that comedian that's hilarious? No, no, Randy is a, he was a, a magician, he's a... But a big, big, like a big burly white guy. Huge burly white beard, yeah, but he was a magician who debunks, like, uh, homeopathic treatments. He hates Sylvia Brown, he challenged her with a million dollar thing, saying if you can prove that you have supernatural abilities, I'll pay you a million dollars. He has the James Randi Educational Foundation. Wow. He's, he's amazing. Backed up into some health there. That's cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, Randy. Yeah, that stuff. When I said comedian, I mean, he's like a super funny magician. If that's oh yeah, he, he's yeah. he's funny. Yeah, he yeah. he's. I mean, he's gonna die any day now, and I feel horrible when he does. But you know, oh, yeah. he's he's. Was well, he great. dying of old age or? Like, old age, yeah, like, yeah. Well, that's fine. I mean, if he's you know, if you make it past average age and then you die, like all right, it's not gonna get. But you know what? Like one of his like go to things is when he proves homeopathy is garbage. Oh, that's good. I like that. He goes on stage, and before he does anything, he just says, oh, hold on a moment there, and he pulls out a bottle out of his pocket, breaks the seal on it, opens it, dumps all the pills into his mouth at once, takes a swig of water, and then says, oh, thank you, and continues on. And then, like, 20 minutes into his routine, he goes, oh, by the way, let me read you the warnings on the bottle of the pills I just took. Please contact Poison Control if dosage is exceeded. And he says, I've been doing this for 30 years. Nothing's ever happened to me because it's all garbage. There's nothing in these pills. Oh, I had a power there. That was, it worked okay. I, I didn't die, at least. That's usually... I did okay there. I'm still alive. And he also talks about, like, misconceptions and judgments that people make. And he's this old guy. He wears glasses and stuff, right? Yeah. So he goes out on the stage, and he says, I promise you, everyone, you make misconceptions. You make judgments with... Oh, fuck! I was going to do Whether you know it or not. Yeah. And midway through his routine, he'll say... I'll demonstrate it. Perhaps you guys thought that I was looking at you this oh, whole time. Really? Okay. Turns out I haven't been. In fact, I require glasses to see, and the glasses I have on, and he pulls them off his face and sticks his fingers through them, have no lenses in them. Oh. I have not been able to see you this entire time, but you perceive that I could. Yeah. Interesting. So, yeah, he's, he, that, so he kind of like cracks open the whole magician perception thing and play, <laughs> plays with that. And yeah. I love that. I love when magicians do that. Oh, like, yes, Richie. He is the one that debunked uh, Yuri Geller was the boon-spending guy. Spoon-bending guy. Boon-spending boon, boon spend, boon guy. Spoon-bending. It's weird how the brain farts like that sometimes. That's okay. Yeah, but he, he's uh, the amazing Randy. He is great. Yeah, people... They, they basically prey on people who are at an emotional low point, who right. simply want to hear, you know, that everything's okay, that things that have caused them emotional pain are, you know, Like John solvable. Edwards. Yeah, just pieces of the garbage yeah. that prey on human beings that just need help more than anything. It's like, and whenever they ask for, like, messages from beyond, it's never anything like, the, the combination to the safety deposit box hidden underneath the cellar stairs is 4892. It's always, I'm okay and I love you. Bull crap that anyone can say. Fuck. Right, right. They, yeah, they, I mean, they start with vagaries. They know how to read people. They're, yeah. They're, like, there's an art to that sort of uh, subtlety. Oh, the of, whole cold reading thing standing yeah. from a group of people I mean, saying, maybe. I'm getting someone whose name begins with R. Does anyone know an R? It's like, of course people are going to know someone whose name begins with R. Right. It's this general mm. bull crap but, that they just go off of. R, M, 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 S. I got an S. Yeah. Oh, my God. I yeah, but now, I was, was like, it somebody you cared for that died? Yeah. <gasps> How did you know? <laughs> I'm getting that it's a man figure. Did you have a husband, a son, a cousin, an uncle, a grandfather that may have passed? Like, yes, everyone who lives on the planet had one of those. Yeah, it was a man, man, mm, a woman. Woman now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's depressing that so many people would... Oh, the South Park episode about that one medium guy was hilarious. I don't know if I saw that one. I think it's I mean, about John Edwards. Oh, John uh, Edwards. There was another out. one my mom watched John Edwards religiously. But yeah. Crossing over with John Edwards, I think it was called. Yeah, it's just all scammy Total shit. Total crap. Uh, well, I think that's something missing from our country. We could use a little bit more of is uh, skepticism, like a healthy skepticism. Not just the instinct or reactionary skepticism where you just automatically deny everything you hear. Mm -hmm. But people need to go... Where's that information coming from? What are the yeah. biases of the people who are giving me that information? Like, those two questions are not asked enough. Uh, it, it's a big component in critical thinking skills that are, are yeah. sadly sadly missing. And hold on, let me turn off the. 
I turned off the thing that made it all orange. I have that Flux F Lux program. What does that it makes it orange? It turns your screens orange at night so that you it's uh, easier oh, okay. around your eyes. It, it takes away the bright blue because the wavelength of blue is more like sunlight, like around 6500 6, okay. k. So it drops that down. But there was one of these like paranormal. That's research why that's kind of orange that, that I saw. That you know how they go, they they turn off all the lights and they use the night vision, right? So yeah. they were doing this uh, investigation in a Titanic museum. And they were all, one of, the, one of the psychics walked up next to a wall and started saying, I feel a cold spot. Come around, everyone join hands into a circle of protection around the cold spot. <laughs> and they all did that, and they were all chanting, Mother of Mary, Holy Spirit, Trinity, protect us from evil, and all this crap. And they, were, they couldn't see it because they were in the dark, but they were literally standing next to a wall that was pure ice with a placard next to it saying, this is a, an approximation as to how cold the surface of the iceberg would have been that the Titanic struck. It's like, well, no wonder you feel cold. You're staying... <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then other people going nuts when they have those EMF readers, electromagnetic fields. Yeah. And they're like, you're standing right next to a fuse box. Shut up. There's no ghost there. Right, right, right. And not only that, there's no evidence that, you know, no one has ever had a ghost in a controlled environment to prove that they would make an electromagnetic frequency meter go haywire. It's all just nonsense. I'm just going to try to pester these guys. Here, we'll go around them. You know, this can you you can climb up walls. Can you climb around walls? Yeah, you can run along, but this is easier to do this way. Ooh. Genji's really more of a solo operator. He, like, that guy saw me coming here, so they know I'm... Their healer is who this I should be gutsy. attacking. Yeah, it is gutsy. Thank you, James. I appreciate the compliment. It's nice of you to say that. All right, what is... uh? Oh, uh, oh Dominic's sister oh, went to an... Went to one who knew her brother had a dis. Oh, oh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, they I they wonder... they pick up on stuff. I mean, it's they don't know like, it's it's bullshit. But well, they know how to read people. They they figure clues out. I don't. I mean, I know that sounds like I'm like, but the notion that a stranger knows something about someone else paranormally makes less sense. It makes me wonder that they know how to read subtle clues and they don't know how to trigger things and they know. How, I mean, they know how to ask probing questions and. There was this one British show that I saw, because I watched all these British shows, but it was one of these things where they were trying to expose psychics. And what they did was they they had this um, business, and they went online and they made a, made a Wikipedia page for it, and they added in all this fake history to it, saying that the original owner was a, a hated man who had... How's it all the way up there? Look at that shit. What? Never Someone seen cheating? No, I don't think so, but... But they said that he was a horrible guy who was hated by the people that worked for him, that he was brutal, he didn't pay well, and that he was eventually killed by a horse d delivery cart going wild and pinning him against the wall. So he wrote all this stuff online, even put a placard, or in a picture, a fake picture, up on the wall with a, a placard saying who it was. And every single psychic they brought into that house pulled up that guy's name, the backstory, said they heard the sound of horses and horse Fuck. hooves, felt, felt pain like a chest was being crushed, all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Because they had gone online, looked up the location, memorized the story, and were just regurgitating it. Right. So it's something that's so easy to go on like Facebook or something. Like if you say, oh, I need to get, what's your name? Oh, that's nice. Uh, let me go to the bathroom real quick. They sit in the toilet, pull up their phone, look you up on Facebook, find out some things about you and come back and just spit it back at you. It would not surprise me if they did that. Well, I, I know that in the John Edwards tapings, they, they would have producers around, run around the audience while they were all sitting around talking to people, getting their life story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is that what you were just talking about? Well, no, there was a Randy, actually, an amazing Randy guy, exposed um, Poppet, I think his name was, uh, Peter Pop Popoff or something. I can't remember the name exactly, but mm -hmm. he brought in a, a radio scanner into one of his big uh, religious things and, and picked up the radio transmission of the guy's wife talking to him through the earpiece, reading the testimonial cards of the people in the audience, what they filled out beforehand. So of course he could walk up to someone in the audience and say, you have arthritis in your knees, I can feel it. Yeah. Because his wife was telling him that that's what she wrote in her card when she came in. Yeah. Pop off, yes, thank you, Dominic. People love that shit, you know? They love to feel that supernatural feeling. And I, I don't, I understand the need to feel that greater connection. I don't, I think that's a normal, you know, uh, 
desire, especially when it relates to death, which is such a mystery. We don't know yeah. what, what, you know, death has all kinds of uh, uh, dramatic ramifications. Yeah. I mean, for your identity, for your life, for your uh, place in the world. Look, we won that one. We came back. That was hey. all because I came back as uh, Reinhardt. Yeah, but you know, like, but, those but shows, like, well, go ahead. Yeah. they'll say stuff like at the beginning, like, this is for entertainment purposes only. Yeah. It's like, they're basically admitting to being fake right off the get-go, yes. but no one ever, you know... This is so you can't sue us. Yeah. That's how James sets the table here, guys. Watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty awesome. <laughs> I do hate onions. Yep, James hates onions and cards and stuff. And luggage. Medical boxes. I was not expecting those to react. That's cool. Yeah, like, it's, there's a lot of little details to this game that kind of... Oh, these are fun. They break open, they fly around, but they're, somebody already busted them. Actually, I want to be dingy here. I'm coming, everybody! Oh, yep, that wasn't very good. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I've been freaked out, man. I, my imagination is fairly active. I, oh, yeah. I, I mean, would you, say I have a pretty good one. You can absolutely I've terrify got, yourself. Oh, totally. At night, one time I was camping, uh... I wish I could would did this more. It was one of the few times I've done it. A big old hike, a 40-mile hike in the Smoky Mountains with a bunch mm -hmm. of friends. and I woke up in the middle of the night to go pee. We were sleeping in this, like, wooden hut thing that they have for campers. To sleep, you know. And, uh, holy shit. It was, the moon was out. It was dead silent, dead still. Nothing moving, nothing going on in the whole place. And, uh, I walked about 50 feet away from the thing. I wasn't going to go very far. And the moonlight, the snow, mm -hmm. the tree, it was like not a familiar environment. I got so scared. <laughs> I was Would looking you... around. I saw a big lump. It was like mm -hmm. a tree stump, right? Or something. I was like, that's a bear. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. And I was like, uh, it, it, everything about it just had me wigged out. Yeah, I'm dead serious about this. Would you ever be interested in going to like a famous haunted place out here and like paying to spend a night no. or camping out in no. a place like that just to... To prove to yourself once and for all that there's nothing. No, I wouldn't do it. Why not? Because I, my, I have my anxiety is too easily triggered. Honestly, like I. It but if you know that up. it's your own head doing it, then what's the? It's still I. Even though I reject that, it's all any. It's not. There's nothing real about it, but it's all that psychological. You like what is real is that we know how to freak ourselves out. That's real. But you and that's all that is. I you don't, don't wanna... find the concept of fear to be fun. Not recreational fear. No, hmm. I, I'm not a fan. So you didn't like like roller coasters and stuff growing up? Yeah, but that's more adrenaline than fear. Well, yeah, it's, it's two sides of the same coin. Mm, I don't think it's the same thing. I think well, that, it is I think... in the sense that you, the rational part of your mind in a roller coaster knows that you're in no danger, but the emotional and visceral response that your body has is that you're about to die. Right. Whereas in the reality, like if you know that ghosts and paranormal stuff is not real, the logical part of you knows that, but the visceral, reactive part of your mind tells you that you're in danger. True. It's the same thing. It's not though, because roller coasters are aren't aren't getting at you with terrifying imagery and and scream and jump scares and psychological torturous psychologically torturous uh things it's just a a really intense a lot of you get to feel the g's in your body from all the turns and you know i mean they, they, they have their own sense of reasons for being afraid but it's a different sort of fear it's it's a physical thing but as I mean, much I'm... as it's a uh as it's an emotional thing whereas okay. like the, the, the whole thing like go oh, let's go get freaked out in a fucking scary basement uh it, that's it, not fun for me it, it kind of it's weird for me to hear that because a roller coaster is a real experience whereas the other one it's yes it's real because you're creating emotions for yourself and you're experiencing mm -hmm. them so in that sense it's real oh shit i went too but far. it's based on something that's not real yeah and yet you're willing to do the one that's real but you're freaked out by the thing that's not real yes yes because the thing that's not real is taps into your psychology more and i have a disturbed psychology oh dominic wants to know what what your fault because i'm horror movies I'm, a like, do you, I, I'm not a fan i i don't like, and I didn't used to have this anxiety issue. It's only come up in the last, like, five, six years, mm -hmm. you know, since I've had more emotional problems <laughs> with my unmanaged depression. Uh, you know, it's, it's, I'm a little bit uh, jumpy by stuff. I, I wish I wasn't. And, uh, you know, so if someone I'm not afraid you, of spiders. Like, if you got stopped on the street by a producer saying, I have this TV show, we strapped you with cameras, we put you into a haunted mansion for the night, we film you with uh, night vision cameras, and we'll pay you $750. Mm. All you gotta do is spend the night in this place. And we film it, and anything that we film we can use for our show. Do you sign the waiver, and do you show up? I don't know. That hold would on, be an instant yes, yes, I got one. 
Yeah, you'd say yes. I would say yes, and you don't need to pay me. See, yeah, like I would do it for more money, probably. 750 is not quite a lot. I mean, I, I, don't get me wrong, 750 would help me a lot. I'd love oh, that. That's a lot of money to me. For sure, but for a whole night of fucking terror for a TV show, you better pay me more than that. You know, I mean, I've been I've been paid more than that for video editing. <laughs> Come on. In one night, though, no. In a day. Eh, no, in a I've never, day. I never made that much for video editing in a day. No. Um, I wish. But uh, yeah, no, this wouldn't work. Did we win? We won. All right. Dang, cat goes mute. <laughs> she's got she's got cool ones. She jumps out of her thing all the time. It's funny. So this is the play of the game. No, but that's a good discussion. I think it's interesting. I like for instance horror games that um, we play. If you watch the lot. Which was the last? Of, oh, the PT demo. Oh, I love that. That so, that was awesome. If you want to watch me freak out, watch PT demo. Search for our channel for PT demo. It's me absolutely having a conniption fit the whole time. <laughs> it's all these like scary corners and jump scares. And... I think it took you like an hour to go around the first corner. It taps into my imagination, and I. It's not because I believe it. It's because it, it's, it. My psychological profile is like, just like spring loaded. It, and then the anxiety yeah. starts going off, and that just makes everything worse. It so, uses like, it that, doesn't... that one Japanese tactic that they use that, that I do generally Ooh, find loot box, then we'll, then we'll end it. If you were in a dark room, right? Yeah, all right. And suddenly you heard something move behind you, and you heard that noise that they always make in Japanese horror movies, that... Uh... <laughs> That's a scary noise. <laughs> yes. Uh... Would you turn around or turn the lights on? Would you freeze? I think I would turn around. I'm I'm actually kind of good in a crisis. Like mm -hmm. whenever things go, things get crazy, I actually stay pretty calm. Why did I lose my loot box screen? Um, open your loot box. Uh, yes. But uh, if I have time, if a moment to think about it, it, it probably would freak me out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I, I I get in my head, man. I have a, I have a nightmare brain. I, you know, it doesn't. But you wouldn't want to challenge yourself then to say, no. I can get over this, I'm better no. than this, I can beat this, I'd this rather does try not to, rule I'd rather me. try to do 50 push-ups without stopping. You know what I mean? Like, that's a challenge that I'd reach for. But I, <laughs> Just start throwing fists. The benefit doesn't outweigh the... Uh, oh, that. speaking of throwing fists, Richie, Richie says, uh, the one time, this is a small, not even a ghost thing, but my we were, we were leaving a restaurant, and then we'll end this one here, guys. So we were leaving a restaurant, and my little brother ran ahead, my dad and my two, and my three brothers. Well... My dad and his three sons, of which I am one. Yes. I'm good at telling stories, as you can tell. Anyway, my brother ran ahead around a corner. Mm. And as we approached this corner, my younger brother, who's probably 11 years old, jumps out and goes, blah, and, scared, and right in front, right in my dad's face. And it scared my dad. My dad just out of instinct grabbed his shirt and cocked his fist. Oh, no. Like Because he, he didn't, it just, just out of like sheer response, he just, mm. and he almost decked him. My dad oh. almost punched his own son Jesus. in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and he stopped obviously he was don't ever do that again he yelled at him so it was uh it was fun it was a nice nice night we had tacos all right all right everybody james thanks for telling all those great stories you always have such interesting parts about your life when we finally make this uh, video just a youtube channel into a cartoon which for some reason i think is possible even though it seems insane okay. um you're you're we're gonna mine your background for all kinds of great materials so you're gonna great. basically be the sam scully of of uh of suck professor didn't he die of cancer Sam Scully. is that the name i don't know yeah one of the three original creators i don't know what i'm saying none of it not, nothing i say makes sense um yeah i um uh, yeah i wish i had the confidence to not okay i'm just hating myself real hard all of a sudden all right everybody that's all we got thanks for watching our live stream this is really fun let's uh here let me tab into the into the squirrel picture anybody want to see a squirrel just before we <laughs> go it. just for fun there we go something fun it's for the whole family nice Ah, isn't that nice? So fat squirrel. Nice and, boy, he needs to go on the keto diet with me. I should give him some low-carb food. Okay. We're out of here. Goodbye, Richie. Goodbye, Dorm. Goodbye, Dominic. Goodbye, Kara Thornton. Oh, we miss Skylight. Goodbye, ooh, Skylight, ooh. Um, goodbye, uh, somebody else who I'm... Aaron. I can't see all the names. It's all uh, people have left. But, uh, oh, uh, Facebook, Twitter. Look out for a Patreon. I'm working on it real soon this oh. week, although I do have work coming up here that will, you know, I keep promising and then, it, it, you know, it's, but it's very close to the top of the queue, at least. <laughs> so I'm going to go Google the thick of it. Right it's going to happen. Is that a movie? No, it's a recommendation on a good British thing. Oh, British show. Okay, cool. Um, all right. Uh, I guess that's it. We're just going to end it and say goodbye. Bye, everybody. Cool. Thank you. Good night. Yeah, bye. Twitter, Twitter Facebook, and everything else. And, you, know, you know the drill. See ya.